Hey folks, Dave here, and I am deep within the main quest of the Witcher 3 expansion pack, Hearts of Stone. I'm attempting to acquire this mysterious mansion for the Von Everick brother, the immortal one. But in my attempts at the auction house to talk to the auction house owner about acquiring that house, I was thrown out and, well, they attempted to beat me, but Geralt beat the daylights out of them. So now, I've been approached by a mysterious stranger who told me to go give a password at the herbalist hut. And he's going to help me break into the bank, or the uh, the auction house that is, and I guess get the deed to the house? I don't know what's going on, but we're going to find out. Ooh. Eternal fire, soldiers, it looks like. Let's give you guys a dancing star here. Ooh, close. Alright. How about Axie? Oh, your buddy got me, though. Come on downhill, boys. Let's rumble. Double hit there. Yes. Oh, there goes a flying arm. Come on now. I want some health back now. Hit my coin shield again. Thank you. Punching at a Witcher's sword, not the best tactic. Busy spot, lots to do. What did Carol just say? Busy spot, lots to do? <laughs> Gildorf's sword. Two of them. Uh, nothing too fancy. Neat looking though. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. That was rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm? Hmm. Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. This is all very mysterious. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. 
Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shithole otherwise. <laughs> We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in, each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? <laughs> or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? More questions first. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Hmm. Ought to go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist. I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? Am I your insistent? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Eh, I guess Geralt is kind of a pessimist, so... Yeah. Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I? But well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. Alright guys, let's go for it. It's heisting time. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your faces. <laughs> Cleansing mixture potion. <laughs> Alright, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. 
Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam, a specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Moldorfer <laughs> should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch-griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the Irving. Just now performing with a troupe somewhere near Oxford. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Ah! Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. <laughs> But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked a gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Noble Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> all right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up. Down and sideways, all together. All right, guys, we have our orders. Plan is set. Let's recruit our heisters. Okay, here we go. I guess I will pick from the character menu who I want for each role. I hate to tear Casimir here away from his family, but I like the sound of those explosives. It is going to be loud, though. Hmm. I guess that's not the smartest option. Yeah. We'll go with the safe cracker instead. Aha, here he is. Quinto, the safe cracker. Looks like he's pretty close. Let's go talk to him first. Come on, Roach. this oh foolish bandits go for the horse son's eyes ah! 
Oh, it's a heavy axe. Let me just knock you down. Goodbye. This tech. I'll leave his crappy axe behind. Water and more fizz tech. Guess I'll sell that off. Wait, is the camp right here? Oh. Oh, right, the mercenary camp. Nice. Ooh, treasure. That's tempting. I'll be good, though. And here's the prisoner. You, Quinto? The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was <laughs> I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say. 200. Well, let's play Gwent first. Buy him out? Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm, why not? But lose and the price on his head'll double. You in. What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed. Oh, get ready to get destroyed. I'm going with Nilfgaard. Oh, he's Scoia'tael. He's done for. Got a spy, a dragon, second spy, ten, some heroes, and the Geralt hero card. I'll swap out Clear Sky. And... I'll swap out the six as well. Another 15 hero, yes. Let's start with our spies. And he passed, okay. There we go. We got a Biting Frost. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Brings him down to three. At which point, I will simply play a... Hmm. I'll play my 10 here, and then just medic it back next round. use my leader card here to steal a spy from his deck. From his discard pile, uh, specifically. Go ahead and play him. Nice. He's got a muster. Three dwarves. Let's do a 15. There we go. Three fives. I'm going to go ahead and scorch them with the dragon card. Not going to try to pronounce that whatsoever. And there they go. Who are you, Medikeen? Ooh, the spy. Okay. I will decoy that, though.
and give you nine points. What does that get me? Another medic. Well, he's going to double. So I'm going to be super cheap here, guys, and just let him have this round. Go ahead and play a six. Oh, he's stalling for time here. Clear weather. I will stall with Siri. Wait, he passed? Oh, wow. I'm definitely winning. You know what, guys? I'm going to enjoy this. Let's just... It's not forfeit. Let's go all in. Gonna medic the 10. And then the dragon as well. The 5. Or the 3. And then. Then the 5. There we go. Dandelion to double. <laughs> Here we go. One more archer, worth 10 on the ranged row, and then a commander's horn to double that as well. 116 to 10. Pass for me too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands, the Tretagor maneuver, with cards like that. Get him out of here before I fucking burst her! What? How did you? Fishbone. Did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. <laughs> nice. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. That was awesome. <laughs> I won the freedom of a crew member in a game of Gwent. I love this game. <laughs> Alright, I want Eveline for our uh, gymnast. Acrobat, I guess, not gymnast. Giddy up. She's not too far away, it looks like. Let's see if I can get to her before sundown. A wraith. Let me just stop and save the peasantry. Oh no, please don't reward me, just run off screaming. Life of a witcher. <laughs> but a thank you, maybe? Huh? Beaver, booger me. Whoa! Greetings! Well, he didn't call me a mutant or a freak, so... Got that going for me. Come on, Roach! Eveline, okay. 426, this direction. that sunset. The wild horses. Where is she? 
Looks like a traveling fair, I think. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. You Eveline Gallo, the Ermine. Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Hmm. Let's keep this under wraps. Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. <laughs> Let me guess. There's a monster needs killing. Somewhere, certainly. But not here. May I finish? Or would you rather keep guessing? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits. So either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we're not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. Then I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. <laughs> Let's do it. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares, damn the risks. Come! <laughs> and now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Prime! What? But I... Shh! Grab your crossbow and get to work. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> that kid's face. <laughs> well, what's the whole shoot? Are you cross-eyed or what? <laughs> this is great. We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. That was a little dangerous. <laughs> it's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Oh man, that guy was uh, definitely braver than I would have been. Hi, I just met you. I'm going to hold some apples all over myself while you shoot a crossbow at them. 
let's be honest though, that's not bravery, that's just stupidity. <laughs> welcome, welcome. What would you say to a hand or two of Gwent? Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goons are not swallows. They will not flip nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day or play Gwent? Hmm? <laughs> Gwent it is. Well, let's ask about this card loving first. Feels like you might have missed your calling. Oh, <laughs> curious conclusion. Why? Well, should be hawking goods. Instead, Gwent's all you talk about. Hmm. You're right. So, care for a match. <laughs> I want a bit more. So, should we lay him down? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you need not ask twice. I'm gonna play as monsters this time. He is, of course, Scoia'tael. I'm gonna go for Scorch. Don't need that many clear weathers. Don't need multiple vampires or Arachnus. Or Arachas, I guess. Ooh, Scorch's Siege. What is that card? Very interesting. Whoops. <laughs> There's the console. Um, okay, I can... Alright, console, go away. I can get rid of two of my cards here. And pick one of my choice. I think I'm going to do that because... This draw is not that great. What is this leader card? So he can move his agile units to the best row possible, even after he's placed them. I'm gonna swap uh, clear sky and at yeah, this five right here, and I'm going to get. An Avalok, it's my spy, which will give me two cards. Yes, passed. I will, uh, let's see, play Avalok first. Oh, here we go. I will use Torrential Rain. Fortunately, though, he still has one. Oh, man. Okay. Gotta do my... One of my musters here. I just have no choice. I guess I will take one of them back. Oh, talk about overkill, guys. Oh, well. Pass. I will use my hero here to add plus one to the entire row. I think I probably should have used my Scorch. Hmm. Ooh, a 15. Yeah, I should use my Scorch last round. Another 15. Ah, not good. Delay a Ken. Who are you gonna medic? Here we go, eight. I'll Scorch that. And he gets medic again, I bet. Yep. All right, Muster, save the day. Oh man, oh man. Oh, oh, oh he got me. But he's got zero cards left. 
and I win. Monster's ability, I get to keep one card on the board from the previous round. That six wins the day. Ah, bloody hell! I won 20 crowns and the Shiru card. Is that? There it is. Scorch's Siege. If the combined enemy unit strength is 10 or more. Definitely going to add that card. In fact, I'm going to add all of my new cards to all of my decks. All those new neutrals. There's the toad. I won him in the last episode. That scorches the ranged row. Dim. Oh, I don't have my hero here in the deck. Whoops. I guess that eight siege scorch is just for the Scoitel deck. But Odim is for all of them. Neat. Well, guys, there we have it. Two members of our little expedition are all set to go. And we should be able to hit that auction house pretty soon. For now though, I'm going to call it quits, and I will catch you guys on the next episode.